will be greater. Uh, allow me not to mention the specifics. You Kwa better. Sababu, unajua, sometimes, oh, kuna wachawi. Kuna wachawi. Yeah. So we Lakini call it international. Global icon it is. Global icon. Yes. You'll be putting that microphone on me as a global icon. Absolutely. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Trudy. Amen. I mean, I Genius. want to I want to own my own media house. Of course, I'll employ people, and uh, also I'm a chef by profession. So I want to have my restaurant. Channel and my, for them. Yes, a restaurant and a professional restaurant. Uh -huh. So yeah, fantastic. Social in Jesus name. Amen. I'll see you guys at the top. Because I always think about you. You own and now a rainbow. You know, I saw some guys who wanted to interview. Mm. Ten years ago, mm -hmm. ten years ago we were still doing this show. Yeah. And we had very young girls who were to interview. Walienda wa mekuwa big time. So mbaka ni kajuliza. Pia isho maybe basi na kuanga ya kismata. Yeah. Yeah, like ni ya kismat. Yeah. You could uh, backstage. Na kuambia you guys, I will put a last up as three, five years. In the next five years you'll be greater. You'll be so big, you'll believe it. You, you won't be affordable. You know, you know, you know. You won't be affordable. Even those guys behind the camera. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's it, that's it. No. Alright guys, we are at the back. Guys, are you going to be able to do this? Otherwise, it's a reverse prophecy. No, 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 no. Now, guys, we are on the, at the backstage of the Chachi Live Show recording, and we are right here with the award winning media personality, MC yes. Jesse. Jesse. You may say, award winning, Nika Foy, Sana. Do you know, like, for the longest, to go to Nashinda to Kiwin, best stand up comedy, best TV show, best performance of a TV show, best comedy, Nimezi Jazz, I think I have like 11 of them. Mm -hmm. Then we stopped applying. What's the best of, of those 11 of them? Uh, the first time I got was the best uh, TV performer okay. and then best TV act. Why were those very important to you? Because uh, I had never won an award before oh, that time. So it was my okay. first time. And the show was only one year mm -hmm. on screen. And then to Kanza Kuzi win. Yeah. Then they kept coming, they kept coming. Okay. Then even Kalasha, every time, even Kalasha awards, they used to wait. Like guys used to wait for the category of the comedians. Yeah. Because they knew uh, Wanapeana Zote, Muisho, the Wanapeana comedians, and then in Aisha. Because we used to make fun at the, at the Kalasha festival yeah. and all that. And then we stopped applying because we were always winning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, wow, okay. it was unfair. Imagine <laughs> you have the best show on Every TV. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you'll win. Yeah. So, right now, uh, Premier to Likwa Kuona Wengi or Metokea. So, like right now, I would want. I would want to participate, but uh, as uh, someone who will try and see the best of them or category, so that to see to add to a quay authentic or quay or Kalash, and I know they're going to do that yeah. this time around. Like, we give the authentic to give them a best stand up comedian, equally real Kalis to Kiona and Bakawe Kita Kuvotuna Changa Yikiwa because they are all. Like Wait, so good, yeah. Because yeah. I was a wengi sana. Not like that time. To look at win, you be a tukwa wengi. And you know, every time when someone wins an award, definitely kuna yule mtu anataka ku dedicate kwa ke. This is all teza ko eleven. Well, we just get ya ku dedicate kwa mtu. Naza ni mi akuna mtu. Ah? Nilikuwa na dedicate ya. Because, because you know, ilo na semanga. I want to dedicate this award. Nilikuwa na dedicate ya my fans. Because walikuwa na ni jenga sana. Nandi yao metu jenga. My friends, kufanya comedy for this long. I still go on stage and I see guys screaming. Yeah. You know, those are the people I need to dedicate their words to. Yeah. See, at you, I dedicate this to my mom. My mom is dead. That's why I dedicate it. I dedicate it to my mother. I'm going to say, hey, where are my fans? So you dedicate it back to the fans because they're the reason why you are who you are. They're the reason why you earn. The wallet followers are now how my fans. When corporates come and pay us to advertise for them to these fans, you see, ni how do you have to share? Even easy channel say, you see, share with me. To my fans. Yeah, so I win, dedicate them to my fans. Ata wale wa kupendi, you see what wa kupenda. But when you are kupenda, wale like for me in comedy, I say, if somebody doesn't laugh at my jokes, it's not my problem. It is their problem. You see me, me, me. I've done my best. I have done my best. I love when you like this auditorium here. Imagine all those thousands of people. Everybody is laughing. I love when you are doing what you are doing. Surely, surely, can everybody be wrong? No. Hey, I want you. 
wako na kaisho na ka depression so they need to keep on coming for the show yeah. but yeah. most of the time i thank god every time i go on stage what to check yeah. Yeah. on that part i could dedicate here what you know i just came across something very interesting on social media yeah. that who is mc jesse's wife who is allegedly mc jesse's MCGC wife name is elizabeth wangari who is this elizabeth wangari who is this wangari guys true story This is allegedly your yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah. She has claimed you apparently. Wangari. Yeah, you have no idea. Yeah, this one. Yeah. yeah. Wangari. No, it's a screenshot. Me, me honestly, I want to say categorically, <laughs> I do not know anybody by the name of Wangari. When I be biangu, never. We have never married okay. anybody called one. Ana jaribu kuches cloud na wewe. Huyu ana jaribu kuches cloud na mimi. Mimi never. Sawa hiyo mtu anaitwa. Niliona sasa sasa hivi nimeona. Ah hata nimeshangaa. So online nimeoa Wangare. Elizabeth Wangare. Wangare kuja tafadhali hata mimi nikuone. Kwa sababu mimi sina bibi anaitwa Wangare. Whoever wrote that story I think was just writing malicious. No, I don't have a wife called Wangare. But you have a wife. I don't have a wife called Wangari. But you have a wife. You want to know whether Sululi the two are you married or not? Are you married or not? Mimi unaona aje. Ah, but sasa tena uuliza swali na swali. Unaona aje. Niangalie juu chini. Just wait because of you. Ah, let me answer it like this. You feel like the society actually pressures you to put out you know your better half. Yes, they do. Society, society, not society. You guys. Wewe we. <laughs> we, we, na wewe. Nini watu askie mbazo na nani? Let me explain this. Yeah. I normally don't uh No no, boni ya kupe zingine. Sawa. I'm oh, sorry for that. What I'm saying is uh uh this is how I'll answer whether I'm married whether I have kids and all that family and all that. Like right here I have a lot of family that have come to watch me. But uh what i always say is i'm the one who chose yeah. to be the limelight my kids didn't my wife didn't my girlfriend didn't my mother didn't my whoever did it yeah. i'm the one who chose to be in the public limelight so anything that concerns any other person apart from mcjc i need also to seek consent from the person so that i tell the person whether i can discuss them in the media or not because yeah. i know also when uh, i do a lot of jokes uh senye tiko around my relationship my dream and all that i like it remaining like that cuz that is how we started me i started uh, e comedy nikiwa tu mipe kan nobody no dating nothing and all that so i don't like putting my personal life out there because hiyo si ndio hata watu watakuona trust me watu wanataka tu kusikia msjs anafanya nini wewe msjs anasimama kura hajapata wewe msjs yuko kwa list ya cs wewe msjs mc jc not any other person because i try to avoid scenarios whereby my personal life Yeah. is out there what to kuwa na mapenzi na mapenzi huenda inaisha alafu nitaambia nini watu tena tunarudi tena mnaanza kunihesabia body count so the best thing is i decided i made a personal decision yeah. to be in the public limelight sasa any other person until they make their decision to be miss as you mention sisi watoto eh ni wa parade a a I am the one who yeah. chose. So I like it keeping it that way. Hata ushindo kinuliza where is your wife? Where are your children? Na mimi zitakwambia because I am the one who chose what to be popular. Yeah. And the people stay kwa na mtu tawa ni ulize. Wapi bibi yako? Mimi yeah. kutana naona niambia, "Eh, hey, wapi chache?" Eh, hey, salimia chache. Kwa hiyo ndio tuna mentioniwa na wewe kwa kikazi. Nikifanya kitu kingine, eh hey, ile joke yako ya juzi, eh hey, ilikuwa noma. Eh hey, unaona eh hey, juzi uliingilia mzee fulani wewe usifanye hivyo tena wewe leo umeingilia wa Somali eh hey, tulicheka that is how i like it yeah. lakini and also i like when i go back home i have somewhere i can call a home somewhere where akuna uselem if it kids one it daddy niko na mtu ananiita babe siti cmc yes. you get so that privacy to me kana nifanyanga na sikia poa napata sense ya kuishi ni amke sande ni ende charge you know watu wa chachetu wanijui chachetu ni ndogo watu jua kwa 
juu kitambo nikiomba hivi nikiomba hata nilikuwa nanirecord tu video wanantumia eh bro si leo umeomba unaomba nini na uko na kila kitu ajui you don't have it so mostly i like keeping my life that is not in the public uko kwenye iko because it's also a soft point of attack when people want to attack you like for example our friend maybe kama DJ Moen says it right now when they're going through a challenging time is when you tawana watu wanawaingilia at yo uko na jida yume yako kwa uko na jida yume whereas it's unnecessary mapenzi kuja mapenzi isha watu pendana na si lazima watu wakosane hata wakiachana you get so utapata watu wanataka when they know so much about you wana kuingilia people know so much about Terence and Chebi unadhani wanangojanga watoboe wanangoja kusikile siku wameachana you get but lucky for them they are both in the public limelight nameless and who people are eating on skiwa meachana we make news not even you guys just some people out there so the best thing for me advice is If you're not married or dating someone that's popular, respect their privacy or not their private. Leave them there. So, when when mine comes to the limelight sour, maybe nick your president. Okay. So Jesse, maybe how does it make you feel when people keep on asking about your uh, life like you are hiyo maisha yako ingine because they every time unapataka bwana Jesse atuoneshi familia yake bwana. Sometimes maybe wao una feel it's not okay with you. To be honest, I think si sana sipatangi wale wenye wananiuliza sana because I have a circle of friends like my boys we wangu wale wananijua inside out wenye hata wanitangia MCJC wengine unitamogomi wengine somi hao wakini hata hivyo najua ni my boys wako hapa wangeku hapa wanaweza pay mention yangu sana when i go out i go with those uh, friends of mine yeah. again i don't if, if it's the celebrity lifestyle kuna wale ma celebrities you yeah. hang out but at the same time i have my boys when you see you hang out ah uh, tunaongea tu story za kawaii most of them ni wale tulikuwa nao meru high school and some guys i met in Nairobi like we are not many we are like yeah how many is it 12 ah, yeah. boys yeah our club Okay. So yeah, si utembeleana si ndio tunajua na ki familia okay. watoto mabibi ma girlfriends wale wanaoa ma fiance okay. yeah we have a club yeah. okay now about you being on stage you've been on stage for years you know you don't grow like wewe useki you look so young like every mi anakumbuka wewe Jesse Jesse bila wana nitanganya no ni kweli Jesse because of uh, mi nasema inaweza kuwa chini kwa kadogo na mi uko na ukiwa the same same person That is one question siri ni gani the second one ni ukiingia pale stage Jesse toka uanze kwa kwa stage pale sijaiona kama unaweza ingia pale watu wakose kucheka I don't know how you go about it but yeah wenza kwa siri jamani siri ni Yesu siri ni baba ni god ni god siri ni god millennials yeah uh, first of all uh, me na sasa tu ni Mungu alinibariki na jeans <laughs> jeans and i think i laugh too much i smile too much i can't remember the last time i was mad i never get mad i i get disappointed with people but i i just laugh bila unaniona anga tu hiyo mimi ni mshai Uh-uh. <laughs> lakini mimi ucheka sana uh-huh. na naweza kuambia siri chekanga tu laugh sijai kasirika ukinikasirisha wewe ndio uta utabaki mejam juu honestly i won't take it seriously let me give you a story on the same note of kucheka uh-huh. of course in my in my life i've dated hello my daughter how are you i can see you you like, you like him you, you like me yeah but let me tell you something yes i don't think Your mom doesn't like me. So what you going to do? give her a I actually bought the Discovery Land Rover Discovery. It looks like a G-Wagon, but it's just because I had ordered it before the G-Wagon. I'll get a G-Wagon for your mom. I will. Now let's do this, Rika. You've told me you like me already, right? No, I didn't. No, you like me, but your mom maybe doesn't like me. What she does. She does. Doesn't. doesn't what if we team up i give you whatever you want and you make sure your mom likes me but what do you want make sure your mom likes me okay and you ask me whatever you want don't ask her to advise you you will be telling me what she wants we'll see okay yeah i'll be a super dad number one, get her you wagon to go for vacation uh-huh. shopping get my nails done buy me a new phone buy me seven phones um buy my mom 10 you wagons um uh, get a flat tummy who me yeah <laughs> 
Do you know that Tammy is the one that gives us money to buy the G-Wagon? Are you sure? Yeah. Ah, don't I don't believe you. Money. You don't believe me? But let's do this. I'll get one by one. And you promise to make your mom like me. Yeah, but see it might just bet. come. Yeah? We'll see. It might just come, it might not. So, so you might be scamming me. I late. might be. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Congratulations on the new role of the show. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Tunaona anapenda na Piera. Tunaona. Ananikatia through mtu hii. Tunaona. Anantumia mtoto ndio. Oh, ni ametuma mtu hii kukatia. Jiwago, jiwago ni inabidi ikute. Hata nimesahau kitu niko nawaambia lakini. Kwa tupatia story ya kucheka. Oh yeah yeah, I was telling you, me who check us on and ask one serious to an extent that all my life to high school, of course, you wanna una date hapa, una date pale, una katia name hapa, una katia name pale. Me me aki akuna manyesha chumia serious. Ili kuwa napata kadem, na check a two, ana yambaki ona kuanga joka. I want to chumia ngi serious. Just because I laugh and this cool checka, he may never find a true dear. So me na I'm still young, na kumbi ni cool checka. Na wa wa meenda mezeka. Uh -huh. Now, you know, uh, Jesse, talking about you being on stage, yeah. Churchill chose you as the host of Churchill Row. Yeah. Back in the days, yes. there were other comedians yes. that was equally good. Yes. But what do you think stood, made you stood, stand out to a point where Churchill decided this is going to be the host of yeah. Churchill Row? First of all, the God. <laughs> Millennial again. Aki. <laughs> but I think... Uh, even uh, before Churchill now told me to find Evi, also we had met a couple of times and we used to share ideas. So reason for agreeing to host Churchill is because also we used to share as an idea. Before it came to be, way before even Churchill show started, it was Churchill live that time. We used to share ideas and be, what if we do this, what if we do this. So once he told me, what if we continue? So in as much as he told me host it, also the ideas to what we discuss and uh, there were other comedians that could have hosted but he said since you are the one who keeps on telling me these ideas why don't you do it yeah. so that's how it came to be like you do uh -huh. whatever you can do you can do yeah. do it i know it's a long time ago jesse yes. but how was that moment for you because you were standing on this shoes that Churchill has been there, I believe yeah. you also watched him, you know, growing up. Yeah. Okay. So you come and he growing up. Yeah, growing up, but for sure. You know, yeah. how was that moment for you? Well, I used to admire Churchill a lot, uh -huh. for sure. He was on TV way before me. He did Churchill live. That time, I don't think you guys were born. He was in and he used to do the show. And I used to be just in the audience. I used to just watch it on TV. So I used to admire that. But I would watch and get ideas of how we can work together. But I saw it that, uh, well to work together with him. And he welcomed me with the open heart. And that's why I decided, you know what? Let's build this empire together. Let's be brothers. Like, uh, to Kanza. At the moment when Nilikuwa Tuna share too, I never thought you'd take it seriously. Because that time, Nilikuwa Tuko Kinon, Nimengana, Nimemparara. And then I keep giving ideas. And the guy had the ability to do another show. And when he said, NTV needs another show. I didn't know whether I would be the one to, to do it. And so that time he invited the NTV guys to come on the show. I used just to MC his show. He told me now to come and just be MCing for me. The first day he told me you'll do it for me. The first day. He had already invited her to NTV. Allah? Yeah, so when I went on stage, I don't I don't I don't know whether to call it a coincidence, but my God. Mm -hmm. So while you make up or do on TV, mm -hmm. and that was my first time to go on stage. So I just did my my bit. And as you're saying, even me I get surprised when I go on stage and people just laugh. Yeah. I also get surprised. So that day I wasn't sure, but I went and people were laughing, were laughing. Now I jokes to the jokes to the ufala, not wanna check her. NTV I can say man, I think you like that guy. Yeah. Touch it. Then second show you are talking about, bring it with that guy. That guy. Hey, and so that man. was it. Oh my god. Ziku mm -hmm. Imagine you kino unanga salary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that time yeah. to host kukua MC hapo kwa Churchill that time it was yeah. sawa ilikuwa kama 10k sahi then nikaambua you be host siku lala nilitoka nikaenda ngong unaona kwa zile mataban zile zinapiga upepo nilienda kuketi hapo nipigwa nao kwa upepo nitulize yeah. nitulie nisikie but i remember that moment like it was yesterday and since then up to today see where we are now yeah. kaniambia now my brother you're of age
let's share hold, let do share holding. Yeah. Can be a sour. Very nice. To Kapushkana. Now we are here back together again. Okay. Doing great things together. Uh-huh. And maybe what will you say you, you learned from Churchill and has worked for you? Patience. Mm-hmm. Churchill is very patient. If there's a guy I've seen that is patient in this uh, entertainment, he doesn't yeah. Churchill. And Churchill is strategic. He doesn't fear. That is one thing. I can hear me. No. Let's take it easy. You remember what we discussed as our vision. Let's stick to it. We stick and go. And uh, we've seen a lot of, uh, you know, fruits from that. And then he's very disciplined. He's disciplined in a way that I would have kwa makoso koso. He doesn't spoil his brand. He yeah. taught me how to maintain a brand. And also he taught me nisi waifika. You know that is where I see Wase uenda unakuwa so funny, unakuwa superstar. Unakuwa celeb. Ukisha afika. What else? You may vika, there's nowhere else to go. So the beauty is so vika. Yeah. Keep going. Every day, keep rising. Reinvent yourself. Keep doing and then if you're doing something and it's working for you, keep doing it. What do I do? Keep doing it. Yeah. Let's talk about the state of the nation, Jesse. With you, Lazima Tonke, politics Kidogo. Yes. Swali me. Mm-hmm. Who among all those cabinet secretaries that have been sworn in, the 19 of them, yes. surprised you the most? Joho. Why? Hey, Joho. Mm. You know Joho alikuwa anasema, mm-hmm. mimi naongea nini na, na William Ruto mimi? Mimi sim mpigie mwambie, mimi simtambui. Mm. William Ruto na, mimi niketi chini naongea na yeye nini? Ah, Alafu nikamuona. Eh. Ara ni nilimpigia, nikamwambia, "Eh Buda, I is it for real?" Mwez, kaa kama nae, ati wei waziri ya kanimba jesi mi waziri Kambia waruto, kanimba ya misi waziri waruto mimi Mini waziri wa serikali, mini waziri wa Kenya Na kuja ku, kudumia wa Kenya, lakini tulicheka kidogo yeah. But really, to be honest, I was so surprised na Joho Because yeah. I knew the rivalry they had with president Ilikuwa, nilikuwa naona nikawa wata iski zana yeah. Then boom, it felt so shocked what, what does that uh, now situation um, make you feel about politics as someone who has uh, hey. don't stress yeah. that? Yeah. Politics na watu wajue. Wana watu ambiwa lakini wa amini. You see, if it was uh, right honorable Ray Laudinga who did the uh, who did the handshake? Nini watu amezoea? Yeah. Uh, Serikali taingia. Tunajua, tuna expect. Baba atafanya pact. Atacheza deal zake na serikali. Na shikane na serikali wafanya whatever they do. Yeah. Lakini now, expecting. Mm-hmm. Watu kama jo. Wachana hata na mbadi. Na oparanya. You know, they are a little bit polite. Yeah. Outspoken. Ali Hassan Joho. Was Kizane na another outspoken president, Dr. William Ruto. My friend, it was impossible. And that shows me what? Ukweli. Vilo watu sema siyasa ina wadui. Ndiyo hii ni meona. This is a... Hii ni meona yiko, what? These two guys. Enye ya ginanga wadui. So hata uwe mekosana na mwana siyasa mekujamisha haji. So each kulia serious. Maybe even him is not serious. Do you believe politics is a dirty game? Eh... Politics is not very clean. Mm-hmm. It's not very clean. Mm-hmm. Politics is... I like is, the choice of words. Yeah, it's not very clean. <laughs> it will depend that in is you happy. If you're talking of, oh, what to Naiba, corruption and all that, that's very dirty. Because if people can steal and get away with it, that's dirty. And that's what you're saying. Sahi wa Kenya tusikubali kufanya vitu kaizo. Ukiyo na msea na chazambaya, muexpose. Hata kani rafiki yangu yo joho mmemona, ndi huyo ameiba. Muexpose hini. Niwe ni muru kome na mekuja huku kwa youth na creative economy. Kwa tutasikuma na sikuma na kidogo, especially kwa creative economy. Tu muexpose. Kama ni oparanya, muexpose. Kama ni duale, muexpose hini. Kama ni president himself, muexpose hini. Shaurienu. Shaurienu. Lakini... Expose them. Yeah. You get? Yeah. However, that should not be doing the citizen that. You get? Just an any nini? Come on, asiasa. Where is my mimi siyonge na ruto? Lafu appoint you a cabinet. Iyo ni chaf. Oh, baba na pigana na ruto ni ni tenzi yote demonstrate. Then they take advantage. Wana ingia kwa serikali. Iyo ni that. Lakini don't make it that by stealing from the public. Don't be a crook who natoa nishoku majiwa kwa na ni pesa yetu. No no. If that what you call dirty, that's stupid. Lakini kama dirty ni unicheze mimi, 
eh, uniambie wewe Jesse eh, wewe nitakupea kitu ya CS na wewe Trudy nitakupea ya PS alafu nisiwape kama ndio hiyo dati hiyo ni sawa watu uchezwa hiyo ni dati game na watu uchezana kumbuka politics is a game of chance and also it's competition mimi nashindana na wewe nikikucheza nikushinde hiyo dati ni sawa you know wacha nicheze lakini tusiwane because of it tusiwane because of pesa wengi wamekuja wamechukua hizi viti si wao kwanza kukalia hizi masiyes kuna wengine walikuwa kina matiangi na kina jomu shero and the likes walienda bro hata nyinyi mtaenda na wengine wataku watakuja and don't play with the younger generation cuz they are the ones who will sit on them whether you like it or not cuz we have the advantage of age the younger people have the advantage of age nyinyi hata tunaweza kaa tu tungoje mzeke mkufe and then to drink here you get so don't don't play dirty with uh, the city and the people just serve the people maliza wende Someone hiyo si yako haijapimwa na size ya haga yako hiyo mm. kitu no hata Ruto ataenda siku moja uhuru alienda kibaki alienda na vile tulimpenda moyo alienda Kenya hata ule mkubwa alienda aiba hata Ruto ataenda siku moja yeah. you get so when you're there just serve the people yeah. just serve just serve and that is what we were looking for mimi nikitafuta kitu i was looking at serving uh, yeah. na nikipata tena I will serve for sure. What you say man? Ndio watu wanasema anga wanaenda wana change. No? Si ngoje mimi nipate then uni judge. Don't judge me before I get. Yeah. So Jesse that means 2027 bado unarudi pale kwa Dave. Inshallah. Wacha tungoje. Saa hii tulisema wacha tu repair country yetu. Hata tukisema 2027 si lazima usimame ufix kitu kama iko fixed lakini kama itakuwa fixed tutasimama turekebishe Kenya yetu because it's for me you you and our kids yeah. wengine wameshakula wamemaliza they don't care about Kenya anymore mm. tuatoe na tuingie so right now let's focus on fixing our country we if uh, 2027 wale tumeweka nione ah ni vinyangarika hakuna kitu watu wanafaa au vai but na mimi nakwambia wakati nitasimama nitashinda this time I may not have won in 2022 I do, may not even have looked like I could have won but ashua ashua God is there I know one day hata hii clip mtaicheza tutaniona nimeshinda nitashinda na nitawaita interview mwenye anipendi akisema ah utashinda kaa hapo comment I will win and utashinda peke mbaya kwani wale walishinda nikina nani nikina nani makazi ni wa Yesu niambie ha juzi ulisema usitume gen z to deliver bad news yes bona kwa sababu gen z don't do bad news gen z are about five ya ukituma gen z unajua ni best yangu gen z alikuwa citizen akatumwa na rafiki yangu anaitwa Lina Skykai wa citizen ulizeni Lina Skykai atawaambia ndiye mdosi wa huko akaenda akatuma gen z amlete chai ni story ya kweli akaambia gen z ah go give me a cup of tea gen z akamwambia who me akamwambia yeah you give me a cup of tea Oh my gosh if i wanted a uh, internship ya mambo ya chai i would have gone to a restaurant i didn't study uh, catering i studied journalism i went to my story akamwa aya wewe basi utaenda ufanye ile story ya wale watu ambao wameuawa pale akasema oh my god mimi what am i for me i don't do bad news me i don't do negativity low yeah, me i don't do low frequency low i i want i i want somewhere where i have high vibration mali tunaelewa na watu mali kuna vibe ina skaika kamuliza kama wapi kama kama hii song mpya listening party ya Bienna Benso na akatumwa akamwambia aenda sasa akatumwa citizen Yeah. What is the most notable difference that uh-huh. you can single out between millennials and Gen Z? Wow, a lot, a lot. Naweza sema millennials. Sisi ni vitu ngumu sana. I don't think Gen Z ni vitu ngumu. Gen Z 
uh, versus Milenio. Milenio aki akikausha kichwa. I'm um, you know what sitaki. Itakuwa hivyo na ana hata reason. Si ukausha kichwa bila reason. Lakini Gen Z akiamua hataki kitu hata kausha tu. Atakwambia hold on you want me to go and do that. Eh? Listen first of all. I don't think that would sit down sit well with me on this and this. Anaanza kupea reasons why hataki kufanya hiyo ki, hiyo kitu. But Milenio we don't have time for that. Is it like we don't have time, Mama? We just don't know how to defend ourselves. No, it's millennials. We just don't have, uh, we don't have time for the two years to concern. Whereas a Gen Z will take time to explain to you why. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking about your demo, Gen Z. Are you sure about? I want to take a call, Z. Hello, Sasa. Stucky. No, no. I don't do a babas. Kwanza kwa na pesa. Ah, asant. Na ina ishia po. Like in millennials. Sawa, I will talk on Sunday. I'll think about it. Yeah. Yeah, we got your demo million. I'll think about it. Kwani hata uwezi nipeleka coffee? Gen Z coffee gani? Unatakaje na mimi? Sema. Unataka kuniona I'm not ready for marriage, but kama unataka vibe and fun, sawa, but isipite 2 years cuz I'm still in school. Lakini millennials. Hata kuweka hapo floating. Floating, floating. Unajaribu kuguess where you go. Oh, kusha. Last question. Yeah. Who is a successful comedian according to you? A successful comedian is somebody that knows themselves, knows their values, knows and understands their craft and can do it the best way they can. Not looking at competition or whatever. Just complimenting themselves in it. Doing what you love doing. We will find you. Am I a good comedian? Do I make people laugh? Just do it. When you're not one younger for the love of the game, yeah. that's a successful comedian. Mm -hmm. My last question if you were to give to yourself right now, what could you be like the gift in you? Is a gift is a youth because you've been working so hard, you may achieve with you. Labu will contact us again. A bado, touch gift in any. Saiki to Neza G gift. Sana, 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 sana. Na yenye hata natamani si ati sina lakini kitu na kianga kuji gift ni peace of mind na jamu tashanga what kind of peace of mind is that like sana sana na takanga ni kuwe place yenye akuna kitu na fanya na akuna mtu na ni bother so if sahi ni ambi what is one thing you don't need that takayo ni kuwe place akuna mtu na ni bother na akuna kitu na fanya peace of mind like ni that hata kuwa monk like oh peaceful because most of the things ukweli nilikuwa nazikimbilianga when i was starting comedy so many years ago nilikuwa na gift of it nika gift magari nika gift manyumba nikitaka nilikuwa naona mtu kwa barabara na gari na nilisha nishaibaianga mtu gari je nimemwona nayo kwa barua amenipita nikamfata nikabaye yeah i remember it was a bmw n sport kbs 919v Ilikuwa na pita na yuko kuli zawa sani ulikuwa na skia. Wemspora juu a Jesse amefika. Ilikuwa na pendanga hizo mavai, you know, material things. Then hasiku ni pele raha ni kuwa na tafuta. Yes, unaskia raha ukiendesh and all those things. But no, you buy cars, you pack all of them there one, two. Lakini still not. You you build big houses or you live in big houses. Lakini if you don't have peace within you, utapata. As you could pay peace. And then I really wanted to help my family back in Meru. Because I me, maybe your Joseph, my family. I really wanted to educate. Because now my parents died when I was really young. So I, I saw the suffering to Likotna PT at that time and decided, you know what? I would, I would start a foundation. Yenye nitakuwa nasaidia ama orphans. When you are in the shule, or if you are cancer, when you are victims of HIV, you get like their parents died of HIV, so when you are victimized, and others, their parents died of cancer, and cancer sucks everything from your family. Pesa, kuku, kila kitu inaenda, ngombe, jembe inaenda. Then the kids of those people want to back in the bill of So I started a foundation, Jesse Foundation, to be helping such kids. Nilianzi shanga to home because I saw some kids uko mtaani, uko homeru vitu walikuwa wanapitia. And since mimi niliachangwa na wazazi nikiwa nikiwa mdogo sana, the only thing was ni uko niliachwa hatukuwa na do. So the only issue ni hatukuwa na pesa. So unateseka juu hamna. Lakini I had people, my family members were there loving us but in the door hatukuwa na hata kwenda shule kwa hard. So I imagined the next door neighbor when you are feeling you are cancer your family ikaisha wakaanza kutuzia hizo mashamba 
Fika ni maji walisha, watu hiyo wakabaki. The family has gone. Umetumia dogo wakansa inisha. Watu hiyo mebaki. Wana place ya kukaa. What do you do? I gave back the land. And no, we don't need this. Tuliwapea pesa wache ikuwe ni contribution. Wapatia niyo shamba wakainayo. Wakajenga, watu hii sasa ni wakukua. Ndiyo mse. Najwa mjamuona ni mdak. Si shandu yangu. So, that time, and that thing is what actually even for me gives me a lot of peace. So when I say keeping quiet with Anawazi, that thing, when some of them are graduates today, in fact those kids are the first ones, wana kuanga na mamati zina endaka kisumu, zile manoa. Oh nice. Yeah, wana contributing to the foundation kusomesha hawa ingini. Very nice. Guess what, they are here, two of them. They are here for the show, yeah. Wana wana, huki wana wana kama ma black Americans. Yeah, lakini wako two feet. I got them when they were... 13, 12 and 13. Sahi ni watu yu wakubwa, wana dog. Maybe wana fanya forex. But wakona pesa, but they work in town, they have matatu za kuenda kisu. So I feel happy. For sure. Oh wow, thank you very much Jesse. Thank you. Tumeshkuru sana. Anytime. Na mkujange tache show every time. Na mnakujia marafiki. Nita watengeneza saa billboard hapa, ok? Keyboard, kime, ndiku wa kipe, kina ndiku wa ke. Chachi Show, Chachi Raw, SPM Buzz, Chachi TV, Trudy, Nita Make, I promise. I promise you the next show. Yeah. Tuna kwa tunefanyia mali kuna. Kim back to us. Kahema, something. Yeah, Kahema, ni waikeka carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. I promise. Thank you.